I don't really watch movies twice, like, right away, you know? Like, I might, I mean, like, you know, Raiders of the Lost Star, Star Wars, I watch those quite a bit. But yesterday, I watched a movie kind of by myself, and then my kids popped in halfway through, and then they watched the second half, and then it was so good that I had to watch the first half again with them. Mm-hmm. And that movie is a movie that Grant came in here yesterday. <laughs> God, oh my God, you got to see this movie. <laughs> what? It's so fun. This movie, it came out on Amazon Prime over the weekend, but it also came, I think it was the first movie to drop during the pandemic. Uh, it came out in August with Russell Crowe. It's called Unhinged. The movie is fascinating. <laughs> and so- Is this where he had Road Rage? Yes. Okay. I don't know why it's not called Road Rage. So it, and it's going to make you, if you watch it, and I highly recommend it. If you watch it, you're going to think twice before you ever honk at anybody on the road. Oh, you can tell that just from the trailer. Like, that guy goes crazy. Crazy. It's like road rage times stalker times, I mean, it's like this this woman, she's stuck in bumper to bumper traffic, and she's taking her son to school. He's late. The, the dad, they're go, she's going through divorce. The dad calls the son and cancels on taking him to the game tonight. She's disappointed. She's a hairstylist. She's stuck in traffic. She can't get to her appointment. The hair, her client fires her. She's frustrated. <laughs> then she gets at a red light, and this guy, it turns green. The guy doesn't go. It turns red. She gets honk, 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 right? And then she moves forward. She goes around him, and then she gets stuck in traffic, and then he slowly pulls up in his truck next to her. And he rolls down the window, and he's like, Hey, do you want to apologize for honky? Can't you give me a courtesy tap? You know, like beep beep, like that. Mm-hmm. And she's like, "I'm not gonna apologize to you." He's like, "Why don't you just apologize?" And he's like, "Look, I'm having a bad day." He says, "But you know, if you just apologize, we can move on." And she's, like, "I'm not gonna apologize." He goes, "Okay, you clearly don't know what a bad day is. So I'm gonna show you what a bad day is." And he starts killing everybody in her life. Whoa! <laughs> but, oh. but it is so crazy. Why is Grant saying that's fun? That doesn't sound fun. That's that's fun. It's, Little Mermaid is fun. So at one point, after he like you know tailgates her for a while, and she's like, "What is with this guy?" You know, you we've all been there, maybe you know, mm-hmm. "What is with this guy?" And now she drops her kid off at school, and now she's getting gas now. She's going to get gas, no. and she goes inside, and she goes no. into the quick mart or whatever to get, get to pay, and she gets a water and a snack, and then she's paying. She sees in the security monitor the truck is pulled up behind her car getting gas. Uh-uh. Now what? Uh-uh. She's terrified, and then she's, she stops, and the cashier goes, is everything okay? She's like, yeah. And she's like, well, no. This guy and I had a little altercation on the freeway, and I think he's following me. And this one guy goes, I'll walk out there with you. Don't worry. So the guy walks out there with her, and the dude's like says to Russell Crowe, "Hey man, why don't you just chill?" And Russell Crowe like looks like looks at him, and then runs him over. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh. like the, but then it's like, I'm giving you the short version of it, uh-huh. like the drawn out version of the way Russell Crowe gets under her skin is so sick and phenomenal. He left his cell phone in her car. He has her cell phone. He now has her whole schedule in front. So he now he goes to all her appointments. And then he he left his cell phone in her car and he calls it. And he's like, all right, so uh, looks oh, so your son goes to this school? Oh okay, your son God. does it. Like he's like, I'm gonna show you what a bad day is today. Like it's crazy. You just never know who you're messing with yeah. on the Do road, you man. Get oh. frustrated with the woman and like just say sorry. <laughs> yes, yes, you do. Even the boy, her Nobody son earlier. Know. The son is like, Mom, just say you're sorry. Let's go. Yeah, like, so, just apologize. The show's called Un- the movie's called Unhinged, and it is on Amazon. Uh, that concept Unhinged. is dope. You, Terrifying. You've got, it's, it's way worth way worth, and it goes. It's a fast movie too. And it ends very satisfying, too. Really satisfying. Okay, it's a really, good, really good. good ending. That first part is so relatable. Everybody's done that. Oh, come on. Nah, nah. And that's why that takes you to that place. Even this morning, being driving terrified. In, car came up behind me this morning at a red light. And I was like, I moved over. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Have a great day. All's good here. Yeah. Have a great day, sir. You're sorry, just, at everyone. In yeah. <laughs> just, just in case. Just in case. Just in case. Just in case. But just in case, sorry. Yeah, I'm going to have a sign that says, I'm sorry. I'm sick up the window. Sorry, my bad. All good. Have, have a great you, day. Have you ever been like a Road, like a road jerk, and then you find out that it's somebody that you know that you cut off? No. no. I have done that. I've done that. I've gotten a call from the, the doctor that delivered my youngest son going, do you dw- drive an F-150? I'm like, yeah. Well, you just cut me off. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so there's this other show on Netflix called The Serpent, right? The Serpent is what I brought up to Kyle. Kyle, you finished it? Yes. And? It's, it's like... Hard to explain because I think if you watch it, you're going to go, this is slow. 
because right. it is. It's slow moving, but it is like it's like a leech at the same time. <laughs> like it sticks with you. So the basic gist of it is this guy is is a serial killer. He invites people to come party with him and drugs them and pretends to take care of them so they think he's taking care of them and robs them and does this over and over again and with his partner then takes them and burns them alive, basically. That's how he kills them. Mm. And it's fascinating to know that this whole whole series is based on true events and this serial killer got away with it for so long and literally only got caught because he wanted to that's so crazy like he the turned investigator himself in. no well not really he so he did all these crimes in all these different countries and went back to a country purposefully had a <laughs> he had a reporter come out and take a picture of him in front of a sign that basically said like welcome to nepal which was the only place that he still had like active charges against him and had them printed in the paper so that they would catch it i mean it's like this guy's so psychotic and the fact that he got away with it so long and how he got away with it it's i just I think it's a really good show. Good, good, because I'm still in it. If I get mm-hmm. sidetracked with other shows. When you're watching a slow show, you're still into it, but you got to jump to other shows. Everyone. So that's called The Serpent. That's still number one or number two. No, it probably, it's top ten I on Netflix. I think it's Netflix. number three as Number three on morning. Netflix? Okay, mm-hmm. good. Yeah, okay, good. All right, and Suzette, you have finally had uh, uh, The Cramp? Yeah, so I've, Mr. Baby, my husband, he wrestled in college, so he would, like, it almost seemed like every other night he would have uh, cramps like on his calves and he would scream in the middle of the night to where I was like, oh, chill, like it, it's all right, it's going to go away and I would massage it for him. And for the first time ever, I got my first calf uh, cramp last mm-hmm. night. Oh my gosh, it's the most painful thing in the world. Didn't I, I warn you about you that? Did. Is that a pregnancy thing? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, It happened to me so, it would wake me up out of a dead sleep and I'm a really hard sleeper it would wake me up and it's just it's like there's no way to stop it no there isn't and I try to stay quiet to not wake up Mr. Baby and I was like "Mm." Like, (laughs) what's the pregnancy do to light that up I think it's someone told me that it was like a potassium deficiency they're like eat some more bananas make sure you're getting enough bananas but that never helped because I mean I I've had one or two of those and when you have one you're literally terrified the next night or whenever to go to sleep that you're going to get it again. No, and it's like, because it's like this knot, and also you, like, you have no mm-hmm. control of your calf, and it's like you can't stop it. It's the worst pain in the world. I tried moving right. it, and it like made it even worse. Until right now, like it still hurts. Like yeah. I woke up, and I was like, was that a dream? And I got up, and I still felt like the pain. And I was like, oh, no, like 